Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 07 Career Mode, Part 20. The penultimate part of the 2008 season, and this part is going to be very important to just do the best we can. And first up is a truck race at Talladega, which we should win for all intents and purposes, but first we got to look at the standings because it is quite concerning. 64 back to Stewart and 107 back to Eric Darnell. We have one more race that's going to be like a weird schedule conflict. And then after that, we should be good. But I just, I don't know if it's enough time to get the lead back before the season ends. If not, then I'm going to be upset. And if we don't win the title in both the series, or even, it's going to be, oh my, that's going to be a wait. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to be really upset. So anyways, we got qualifying. It's music time, because it's going to take me like 10 minutes. And yeah. Pole position, like usual, the timer, the thing didn't move at all. 50.6 to a 50, oh my, a second. And of course, Darnell a second. Oh, go, go figure. So setup like usual, it's from Mr. Smash Boy, and it's you know it's a good setup. It just takes a while for the truck to get up to speed, which is more of a NASCAR 07 thing than a setup thing. So the only thing I'm worried about is Darnell's probably gonna leave the first lap. So that's always a concern. But we're 107 points back. I mean, even if like we're gonna have to pretty much every truck race we run from here on out, we have to win. We cannot afford to 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 really. Uh, screw around. So we're going to block Darnell up high. We're just going to pretty much put him in a really shitty spot here and just put him back there. So Kind of cheeky, a little cheesy to do that, but hey, at least he won't lead a lap. So That's my plan. And now it's going to probably take us a little bit to get up to speed and catch those two trucks in front of me. There we go. We got up to speed to the outside of Craig Kinzer. Weird for me to say that, but he's in this game. He's also one of the only trucks, too, to have an alternate scheme. He has that 47 one, and then he has a 47, like, U.S. Army one. Interesting that he has multiple paint schemes, but, yeah, well, we okay. We're in the lead. I pinned this lap. I don't care what anybody else is doing behind me because it actually hit the red, so that's very, very alerting. 70 miles an hour. Perfect. All right. Four tires and we're out and away. That's a 15 flat, so pit crew are in top form today. And we still get beat out of paper by Craig Kinzer. Well, isn't that just really upsetting? But I think we should be able to beat him out of pit road. We're going to do it very super duper legally, too. We're going to pass him under the racing surface. And there we go. That, that was perfect. Two to go, and we only have those two trucks leaving pit road, or three. And there we go, back into the lead, and... That was a, that was a simple race. Well, I mean, we kind of had a... A perfect race, really. I mean, we did everything we needed to. We kind of cheesed on a start there. I kind of feel bad I held up Darnell like that. But Craig gets second. Bobby Hamilton fifth. Eric Darnell is not even in the top ten. Interesting. That is some big-time championship implications there. And he is... Oh, boy. I think that might put Bobby Hamilton senior in the point lead. Oh, my God. Darnell is... Did he... 30, 34th! Okay, I did not put him to 34th, so he must have had some hellacious pit stop accident. Wow. Um, That changes everything in the point battle. For sure. I guess we'll have to look at that now. Two new phone calls. It's about getting a raise again. Yes, well, one of them is. And the other one is... Another charity event. God damn it. Where's my cup offers? I wish I had some. That would be really nice. Well, we'll look at the point standings because it's got to be really different now. Oh, boy. 37 back. We gained 70. Uh, Bobby Hamilton takes over the point lead. Darnell's third, 59 back. So it is still a three-car battle. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sacrifice the race in the truck. So we're going to probably go back to over 100 behind, if I had to imagine. So that's going to leave us three races to gain that much points. So I, I don't know if it's doable. I mean, we got Texas in there, too, which is, I, I mean, I don't think we do well there, so I'm a bit concerned. We got Lowe's, though, in the bush, and last we checked, we're 64 back from Stewart. So, it's possible, but the last time we were there, we only were able to get top five, which is good. But Stewart's been, like, insanely in <laughs> incredible, so I, I, even that's I don't think, is going to be good enough. Well, that's promising. We got a poll, so that's a 30.5 and 30.6. Stewart starting third. Of course, and he's on the inside line too. So that's <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to win. <laughs> we're gonna have to win to probably gain more points on store today. Car setup. From when I was looking at it, um, 
it was untouched from last time. The wedge is a full round down, so... Yeah, either way, it's uh, it tells us that we did use a proper adjustments, or I guess pit road adjustments, from the last time we were here, so... I don't know, I just remember us getting a top 5 and doing okay, but... Okay isn't gonna cut it. So... The only good thing is Stuart's uh, starting on the inside, so he's gonna be... Stuck behind me when I have a slow start, so that's really the only positive. Also, Jimmy's up here too, so I'm almost expecting me to hit him at some point, needlessly, <laughs> by pure accident. But yeah, this, I mean, that was not that bad of a start. Let's go take the easy in turn three to keep the car on the bottom. Perfect. Actually, the car still pushed up a little bit. All right, beautiful. That was that was a really good start. All right, let's let's focus and try to pull away. I'm pitting this lap. We've built over a two-second gap over Stewart. I don't know if he's pitting this lap or what, but I just thought I'd stay out just to maybe uh, have a chance of him not getting those five extra bonus points, but I'm not really sure. I guess about the wait and see, but the car is fine and handles great. I mean, we, we've built up such a lead, I think even with massive pit crew mistakes, we still should be fine. So just take it easy down pit road. Don't spin it out. It wanted to. It thought about it, but... Just a standard four tire stop and we'll be out in the way and <laughs> it's looking really good for us so far. That's gonna be a, f oh my god, a 15 flat. <laughs> good job by the pit crew again. In both different series too, well, holy shit. <laughs> wow, I, I'm i shocked and yeah, we're cycled out into lead which is even better and I think Sadler's second so yay, more points for me and I think Stewart's third so yeah, more more points like I said. Alright, well this is gonna be chill, I'm it, music time. I didn't think I would say that this track, but it's music time. Wow, I... <laughs> talk about a chill race. I mean, good God. I, it was like five seconds. Sadler second. Stewart fourth. Ooh, all right. That's good for us. More points in the bank. I think we led every lap, so perfect. So 190 to Stewart's 160, so we gained 30 points, and we cut that gap just about in half. So that that's brilliant. All right, maybe this title is still uh, possible after all. So next up is Trucks at Martinsville. Now this one should be, again, a pretty easy race. 34 back to Stewart, 37 back in the trucks. We should be able to win that, no problem, and gain more points on Bobby Hamilton. So right now it's just ultimate sweat mode, ultimate just, uh, just, uh, just focus. So we'll go into qualifying, get the pole, and I should have put my head headphones back on because this is going to be more music time I bet. Yep, pull as I expected. 18.9 to 19.0. Oh, so barely got it but Bobby's third so yeah. We're still going to they're not going to hand it to me. I'm going to have to really earn it. Setup same as usual. Nothing different with the, the adjustments. We just got to make sure we you know get out to a good start. Have a car length lead and then that'll be pretty much it. So the start is still very important. Let's see, 16 laps. This is a shorter version of the race compared to the spring one, so that's always, you know, good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but a good start, good through one and two. Darnell's putting up a fight, which I respect. But wasn't good enough. Alright. Byfield. I purposely stayed out just a little bit longer, hoping more people would pit. It doesn't. Okay, it seems like now they're finally pitting. But yeah, we're pitting a slap. We can't. I mean, it, it feels starting to turn red, so that's not a good sign. So, just four tires stop out in the way, and if Bobby leads a lap, then there's really not a whole lot more I can do. Oh, great. Of all tracks to make a mistake, where that's just, oh my god, 12 seconds on the right side. This puts us in a really shitty spot. 18 seconds. Almost 19 seconds. Well, that's just horrible. Alright, well, okay, Bobby's right there in front of us, so he didn't gain nearly as much as I thought. So we got very lucky, and look at us. <laughs> look at the acceleration. Oh, this is going to be fucking clear. I don't want him to lead a bonus point. Lap point. <laughs> okay, we did it. Whew. All right, that was close. We barely got the lead back. Yay, max points for us. Through three and four. This is three straight races in a row. Three straight, <laughs> three straight races in a row where we had a perfect, nearly perfect, okay, turn four was not perfect there, but, I mean, we just did everything we needed to, to to get max points, and, yeah, 
I don't know where Darnell finished again. He is absolutely choking this season away. But we gain about 20 points, which is good. And Darnell is... Oh my god, what is with him at pit stops lately? That's an, another horrible finish for him, so that almost puts him out of the title as nearly entirely. So, yeah, that we did everything we needed to. We, the only thing we can hope for now is when we skip the truck race to focus on the Bush series that we don't lose too many points. Man, we were put in such a tricky spot because I think either one, if we do the truck or Bush, we'll probably win. Then we got a, you know, the the te these Texas races, which are going to be a real problem. So I, I don't know. I, I still trust the fact that I can gain more points in the Bush series than, or the Truck series than the Bush series. So we're gonna have to focus on the on the Bush, but yeah, thirty four back and seventeen back in the truck, which is really good for us. So yeah. We're going to have to focus on the Bush series. Pray that Bobby Hamilton doesn't win. So it's going to be at Old Spice. I hope it's not a long race because I know we're going to win there really easily. And I want to... I don't want it to take forever to to do. I really hope not. Because that's just... Oh my god. 18 fucking laps. Jesus Christ. Alright. Well, good thing I have music to listen to. So... Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, that's that's gonna be very just uneventful. We're we're gonna have to throw it. In. It's gonna be bonus race, scheduled bonus race. So I don't have to come back and record it. It's just scheduled bonus race. If that makes sense. Come on, man. Let's keep it together. <laughs> Good God! Didn't turn it all there. That was a pretty simple pull. I did. Yeah, it's going to be really simple. We just got to get through the first couple of corners on the initial start, and then we should be fine from there on out. And also, Stewart's not starting in the top three, which is good. He's starting fifth, so we might be able to get the point lead out of this today if we're lucky. Hey, what's the phone thing? Oh, it's a contract. Oh, of course. Of course. It is. All right. Now we just got to see who finishes where in the truck race when we sim, the, sim that. That's the only question. It's a little, a little bit nerve-wracking, because I don't really know. I don't know who Chapman is, but it's not Bobby Hamilton, so that's good for us. So setup, it's just the tire pressures. Everything else is left at default, so... Yeah, like I said, we just gotta get through those first couple of corners. It's always the trickiest part, because the AI always like to descend it, so... Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. 18 laps, though. Why is this, <laughs> Why is this so long? I, I don't know. Yeah, just gotta take it easy here. Be careful. Perfect. And perfect. Alright, beautiful. And I'll see you later, field. Really? It... <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Whatever. It's. <sighs> Jeez, that's embarrassing. Still too early to pit, though, so we'll just kind of continue on like nothing happened. Pit stop time, and like usual, the pit stop entry, or like where the speed limit is, it's way, way down here, so... Gotta keep that in mind. 70, perfect. That was, that was, that was great! Alright, perfect. Four tires and on the way. 16.6, a little bit slow of a pit stop, but nothing to worry about, as we have like... Over a 6-7 second lead, so... It don't matter. And we should cycle out to lead here. And... No, we're not. Okay. Alright, just give me a lap then. <laughs> Does seem like Stuart's gonna lead a lap, which... Sucks for us. So... Damn. Rest of the field down pit road. And we're gonna be catching lap traffic, which is an interesting element. But yeah. Back in the lead and... Just gonna chill from here on out. Oh, <laughs> God. All right, well, I got damage. Now it's a fun game of how many cars can I lap before the end of the race. As that's what I always kind of do when I'm at this point in the lead where no one's going to catch me, so it's more of just, you know, how many cars can I lap. Going into the final corner, I have really no other words to describe this race other than Domination Station, except for, you know, spinning. 
earlier in the race and then a contact with a lap car, but otherwise that was <laughs> absolutely destroyed the field. It will, it'll take a minute for us to see the results. Alrighty, so we have Stewart finishing fifth, leading a lap, so that puts him 160 to our 190, so we gain 30 points. And just like that, we are, I think, only four points out of the lead? Not sure, but point is we're <laughs> stupidly close. So that was a perfect race for us. We did everything we needed to. I wish we could have had Stuart not lead a lap, because we, we would be leading by a point, but that didn't work out that way. All right, let's see. Of course, it's a raise. Why, why would it not be anything else but that? So with that, we got Texas. So now we'll look at the truck, see what our point gap is. Four back to Stuart, like I thought, and 80 back to Bobby. Not nearly as bad as I thought. So, yeah, we got some work to do in the trucks. So, yeah, hi. All right, on the qualifying of Texas. Try to, man, we got, we got to pull a miracle out to win the truck title, it seems like. Off turn four, that might be a better, that be a top five starting spot. It's, it's good. Bobby's starting third, so, okay, it's fourth, so. Yeah, I'm going to loosen up a little bit more in the race just to hope it gets a little bit better because it was pretty tight in qualifying, so maybe that will fix some of the problems. But, yeah, this race is going to be important because this is the only one I, I just, I have, I know I'm not going to, I'm going to do well. I, I know I'm not going to do well. Why can I not say that? Hey, we got the polls. So I don't know if the wedge adjustment did anything or the series is just that much easier. I don't know. Probably because the series is much easier than the trucks, but we got that ace in our sleeve to use the that adjustment in the truck race and hope that helps us alrighty car set up up that a full round up and everything else is the same as usual so yeah this is an important race because after this we got Phoenix and then Homestead and I think we can do well at Phoenix and Homestead as this one is our biggest question mark so yeah we just gotta thankfully Bobby's not gonna be starting up front we actually got a, a shockingly Better start than normal, which is really surprising. Oh boy. Hopefully this adjustment doesn't break the truck. <laughs> or it makes it too undrivable. And it's shorter of a, of a race distance compared to the spring race and run the outside. That's not good. We should get a good enough round of turn four to get by him. Ooh. Oh man. What a, what a run. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, um, I'm shocked we're in the lead. All right, let's pull away if we can. All right, we're going to be pinning this lap. I'm honestly amazed that we're doing this well, all because of the wedge adjustment. I didn't expect this, so this is really shocking. Seems like Bobby's running about third. Bill Lester wasn't second, so we'll kind of see how this all plays out. I'm hoping he pits this lap so he doesn't get those five bonus points. We're 80 back, though, so that's the only big problem. Let's get down Piro without spinning out. Perfect. Phew, perfect. All right. I got four tires and fueling around. I hit eggs. That will be a 15-2. Good job, pit crew. And we should be out in front of Bobby Hamilton. And we are, I think. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, that was Ron Hornady right behind me. All right. Let's try to be as fair as possible and stay on the racing surface until we get off turn two. And beautiful. All right. Well... I don't know where Bobby Hamilton at, but we're going to gain a lot of points on him, apparently. And we're going to cycle out into lead. The only question is, where is Bobby Hamilton? I don't know. So, this is perfect for us. We are going to have a max points day in Hornaday. Or not Hornaday. And, oh my god, I can't. Alright. And, Bobby Hamilton. Wow, I, what is wrong with me? My flag's out. Now... We're 80 points back, so on average, we need to gain about 26, actually 27 points per race on them, which is doable. It seems like we're going to gain a lot today based on what I saw when I was leaving pit road. I didn't know. Like, it, it, it's looking good for us. Off turn four, I mean, we are going to absolutely destroy the field of Texas. D did everything we possibly could have done today to have a Perfect race. Hornaday second. And Bobby Hamilton is not in the top ten. Oh my god. <laughs> D 
Damn. All right, well, that cuts the gap. That's at least, like, 40-something points that we gained on it right there. Because the top 10 is uh, 134 points. Uh, oh, my God. 13th. 124, so we gained 66 points on him. <laughs> oh, my God. Just like that in one race, we are back in the championship hunt. <laughs> oh, my God. Well... We can look at the point standings. It's going to look really good for us. Four points away from Stewart. And in the trucks, it's only 14 back. Funny how both the series were in. The points battle is, like, insanely close. Darnell is, I think, gained a little bit, but definitely not enough. It's still a three-truck battle, shockingly. As JG is ahead of Jimmy, which is bizarre. Jimmy's leading the points, as usual, try-harding it up. And Jimmy's fourth. Kurt, Harvick, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just like that. Um... Two parts ago, I was clinically depressed after that episode, and now it's the other way around, so <laughs> we have a shot going into the next episode. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters, the Down Rounds, Weather Bros, Comic Guys, Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave under Champ 15, NASCAR number site, Dot Warwick, Bailey Kirk, Jonathan Carr, and Golf Kill 100, Denny Hammond, Ultimate Fan, Amelia Webster, and Mark Harmon for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your support and your contribution to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and I'm always just really thankful for all that you do. It's, uh, it means more than I can possibly comprehend. So I'm always just really thankful, and I'm just, it makes me happy. That'll do it for me in this part. Next episode, we'll tackle both the Truck Series races at Phoenix and Homestead. So that will be interesting in and of itself. So we'll see how that plays out. But we've got the Bush Race of Texas, which shouldn't be too bad. But these other ones, yeah, I guess we'll see how those play out. So, it might be a meaty, lengthy part. It may not be. I don't know. Probably. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? But either way, I'll do it for me in this episode. I'll see you all later. As always, have a good day, everyone.